So here we got Melissa Fisher, IFPA Pro figure competitor, 12 weeks out from the IFPA Pro North American that's held in Bloomington, Minnesota this year, the weekend of uh, May 18th and 19th. $6,000 in prize money up for grabs for all the pros. And last year, uh, Leanne Vandenberg won that show. Alex Ellis took third. So if Alex is taking a third place at a show, you know it's going to be pretty competitive. And now Melissa Fisher is going to see what she can do at a pro debut. Good stuff. Come on. 12 weeks out she is. I like to tell my clients to look like you're hugging a tree on this particular move right here. That's good. Melissa's trying to stay between 14 and 20 reps. And she's doing supersets right now. Superset and incline cable flies with incline dumbbell presses. Now in this particular move right here, I like to tell my clients, try pressing your shoulders together at the top. You know, by even though it's impossible, by trying to get those shoulders to touch at the very top right there, you're going to help isolate that upper chest, okay? So it's going to really bring that upper chest out. So you don't got to go too heavy on these. Go light enough so that you can isolate the muscle, especially when you're supersetting like this for higher reps. Come on, push it up fast. The faster you push that weight up, the more muscle fiber is going to recruit now. So up fast, down slow. Come on. Up fast, squeeze, down slow like a piston now. Let's go. Come on, hit it. Good work. Come on, hit it. You got this. Drive it up. Good stuff, Melissa. Come on, now drive it up. Got to make it look real easy. So, Melissa Fisher, how are you feeling this pre-contest period as opposed to this time last year? Do you feel like you're a little bit ahead of the game? Because it looks like you're going to be ready a little early. I know Cliff likes to have his clients ready early. Uh, Cliff's doing her diet. I'm training her. We're following one of Cliff's routines right now. But do you feel like you're ahead of the game now as opposed to last year? Yeah, because you're going to be ready early, and Cliff's going to have you ready at least four weeks out, I'm sure. I hope so, so. Yeah, he, I mean, I think I was ready early last time, but I'm much more well prepared and in much better position than I was last time, and I'm eating more, so I have more energy and more strength, and I'm in a better mood. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah. I was. That's always a plus. We'll see if you say the same thing in a few weeks. Now, let's talk about your food for a little bit. Let's talk about meal preparation because if meals aren't made ahead of time, you're typically going to have a hard time sticking to a pre-contest diet. So how does a day in the life of Melissa Fisher go as far as meal preparation goes? You're a full-time mom. You're trying to fit this workout thing in. you got a lot of responsibilities outside of the gym. So how do you fit it all in, and how do you make your meals ahead of time? Uh, usually once a week I make a big thing of sweet potatoes, and I stab them all with a fork and put them in the microwave in a really big pan of Sweet potatoes, so I have sweet potatoes all week long, which is my primary carb. Uh, and then I make a big pan of chicken. I did that yesterday along with my sweet potatoes. Um, so I know how much chicken, and you know, I have all that prep for the week. I chop up all my vegetables a few times a week. So I have all my chopped up veggies. Uh, I wash my spinach a couple of times a week, so I have that ready to go. That's one of my primary sources of vegetables. Um, Every night before I go to bed, I make sure my training shakes are laid out, my water bottle is laid out, my coffee is made, and I just make sure every night, you know, I know exactly what I'm going to eat, um, and I've got all my food ready for the day, and there's somewhere I'm going to be, and I can't be home to eat, I make sure that's packed up, so it's just prepping and planning in advance, and making sure that I've got uh, all my food made. Do you typically make your meals a few days in advance, or do you just cook every single day as you go? Um, I usually don't put all my foods, you know, measured out and together um, once a week. I usually kind of do that on the fly, but I just make sure that I have the food that I need to eat available, and then I kind of just go, you know, per meal measuring it out, unless I'm going to be around it. Gotcha. Okay, well, you're losing your pump, Melissa Fisher, and there's always somebody else training harder than you for this show. So we got to stay on track here. So let's get this next set in and uh, get this show on the road. Until next time, this is Mike Newman, IFPA Pro Melissa Fisher. We're out of here. You look like you're hugging that tree now.